Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing great. This is going to be a step by step guide on how to unlock the bootloader in your Xiaomi device. I am using Redmi Note 9 Pro here but this method should apply to all other Xiaomi devices as well. And you also need to download some files in your PC like platform tools and Xiaomi unlock tool and you will find all the links in the video description. And please note that both this platform tools as well as this Xiaomi unlock tool are zip files so you need to extract them anywhere in your PC. And one important note I would like to mention here is that unlocking the bootloader will delete all the data in your device. So please back up all the important things like important documents, photos or whatever you find necessary. Now let's get the video started and take a look at all the steps one by one. Before starting this process, please note that you should be logged into your Xiaomi account on your device and remember the details like your email ID, phone number and the password. Now let's move to step number one which is to enable developer options in your device and most of you might already know how to do this. So you have to go to the device settings then about phone and tap on this MIUI version multiple times until you get a banner message saying that you are a developer now. And in step 2 you have to go to the additional settings then open these developer options and enable USB debugging. Then if you scroll upwards you can see this OEM unlocking you have to enable this option as well and please ignore all the pop-ups that uh, Xiaomi will be throwing at you. And in step 3 which is the important step and under this uh, developer options you will also see an option known as MI unlock status. Open this one and please remember to turn off your Wi-Fi connection and use mobile data to add your device here. I have already added my device so I won't be doing this again. And once you have added your device here you can go ahead and connect your device to the PC. After you have connected your device to the PC, now this will be step number 4. Please go ahead and open this platform tools folder which I mentioned in the beginning of this video. And you can go to this address bar above and type cmd and press enter. And you will see command prompt window will appear here. Step 5 is to type the first command in this command prompt window which goes like adb space devices and press enter. And you should be able to see a code here which means that your device is connected to the PC through adb mode. If it shows anything like unauthorized, please check your phone and allow USB debugging and type the command again and press enter. Now your PC should be able to detect and control your device through adb. Step 6 would be taking the device to fastboot mode. You can type one more command which goes like adb space reboot space bootloader and press enter. This command will take your device to fastboot mode. And when the device is in the fastboot mode, you need to type one more command which goes like fastboot space devices to check if the device is connected through fastboot mode as well. And once you type this command, you will see the same code which already appeared when the device was connected through adb mode. And one important thing to note here is that if your device is not detected by your PC, there might be an issue with the USB cable you are using or the USB port in your PC or even the MI drivers. So please get everything ready before you start this process. And I have also provided some important links in the video description. Please take a look at those links as well. Now let's go ahead and move to step number 7. In step number 7, you can open this MI unlock tool folder which I mentioned in the beginning of this video. And you can place this unlock tool folder anywhere in your PC but I would recommend placing it in your C drive so that you don't face any issues. And after you have placed MI unlock tool at any preferred location in your PC, you can go ahead and open this MI unlock tool and enter your Xiaomi account details. The same account you have used in your device. As your device should be in the fastboot mode, please click on this password mode instead of the OTP so that you don't run into any unnecessary issues. And if you want to log in through OTP method, please keep your device switched on and after you receive and enter your OTP, you can take your device to fastboot mode and follow the same process. And once you enter the details, you will get some usual MIUI pop-ups here and you can either agree to everything what they say or just listen to yourself. And then you can simply go ahead and unlock your device. And after you unlock your phone, it should reboot automatically or you can simply click on this reboot device and your phone should restart. And please note that it might take some time to boot your device so have a nice cup of tea and enjoy the unlocked bootloader. Now you would be able to flash the custom recovery and flash some nice custom ROMs as well. Now there are some other important things you need to consider when unlocking the bootloader in your Xiaomi device. The first one is to use the official tool only. I will leave a link in the video description or you can just head over to Google and search for MI unlock tool and get the tool from the official website. The second is the most important one. So if this is the first time you are unlocking your device bootloader, MI unlock tool might ask you to wait for like 168 hours. So please wait and do not add your device in this MI unlock status again which will increase the waiting time. Add your device only once and wait for 168 hours and try again. Please do not rush things or try any other modified tools. You are already giving your information to show me. Please do not give it to anyone else. And once you follow all the steps mentioned in this video, you should be able to successfully unlock the device bootloader. So that's all about unlocking the bootloader in your Xiaomi device and I hope this video is helpful for you. And please check the video description for all the important links. 
And if this is your first time on this channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on channel notifications so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. And I also wanted to let you guys know that I'll be flashing some custom ROMs in my Redmi Note 9 Pro. So stay tuned for more updates. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon in my next video.